Hi to all. Uh, we are discussing about meiosis one. We have already discussed about prophase one in our previous session. This prophase one consists of five subphases. That is leptotein, zygotein, patchtein, diplotein, and diakinesis. So diakinesis is the fifth stage of prophase one. So here the chromosome will be looking like this. So this is one. And one more chromosome. Here the crossing over is already done, right? So the genetic material have been transferred from one chromosome to the other chromosome. Yes. So at the end of the pro prophase one, the chromosome will be looking like this because of the crossing over. Now let's enter into the metaphase one. In the metaphase one, the chromosome will be arranged in parallel plate. You know, so this is one chromosome, and this is an another. One. So it is arranged in a parallel plate, right? So these two chromosomes are parallel to each other, and also there will be the formation of chromosome fibers. From the centriole, right here. Let's consider this is the centriole. So there will be the spindle fiber formation. Now here, the spindle fiber is attached with the chromosome, right? So this fiber is called as a chromosomal or kinetochore fiber, right? And also there will be one more fiber called interzonal fibers, which is the fiber between this two. Chromosomes. This is called as a interzonal fiber, and also there will be the fiber from this pole to this pole. This is called as a continuous fiber. Fine, and also there may be some discontinuous fibers also. This is called as a discontinuous fiber. So this is all about metaphase one. Now let's enter into the anaphase one. Here. There will be the separation of homologous chromosomes. See, this uh, homologous chromosomes breaks their connection and separate out. So this process is called as a disjunction. You know, here the chromosome will be like this. Yes. So here, you know, so there will be the connection between these two homologous chromosomes, right? But in this anaphase one, the bonding between these two chromosomes is going to stop. Yes. Fine. So now it is separated, right? So this shows that there will be the reduction of chromosome, and also there are four shapes for these chromosomes. Depends upon the centromere present in the chromosome, right? There are four shapes. The first thing is acrocentric, telocentric, metacentric. And submetacentric. So, in this acrocentric, the chromosome will be looking like this. And in the telo, it has one arm. And in the metacentric, and finally in the submetacentric, yes. So, these are the shapes of the chromosomes depending upon the centromere present in the chromosome. Fine. So now let's enter into the telophase one. Now in the telophase one, nuclear membrane is going to form, right? Because the nucleus gets separated, chromosome gets separated, right? So obviously there will be the formation of nuclear membrane, and finally there will be the disappearance of spindle fiber and also the astral rays, and finally the chromosome will undergo decondensation, right? So. So in this stage, 
the cell will be like this. See for our convenient I am drawing only the one chromosome inside the cell. So which is after crossing over. Yes. So this is the cell present in the telophase 1. Now the karyokinesis is over. Now the cytokinesis is going to happen. What is meant by cytokinesis? Division of cytoplasm. Here in cell fur formation is going to happen in the animals. It is going to happen in the animals. And cell plate formation is going to happen in the plants. Fine. Here the cell will be separated like this. So I have drawn only the nucleus but not the chromosomes. Okay, fine. Coming to the cell plate formation, the spindle will persist for some time. So the spindle which is formed in the karyokinesis is persist for some time that is known as a phragmoplast. Let me draw the plant cell now. Okay, these are the two nucleus. And here the vesicles will be formed. Here there are more, some more spindle fiber is there that is called as a phragmoplast. Finally, these are the vesicles that is used to form the cell wall. So the cell wall is present only in the plants, right? Not in animals. Yes, here the cell plate is formed. Now the cell will get divided and form up two daughter cells. So that's all about meiosis 1. We have discussed about karyokinesis and cytokinesis. Now let's enter into the meiosis 2. The main function of this meiosis 2 is only about the separation of the chromatids. In the meiosis 1 we got two cells right. So finally after the cytokinesis we got two cells. Let me draw that. Okay, this is one. So inside that nucleus. So inside the nucleus, the chromosome is present, which is after the crossing over. Okay, there will be the formation of asters, and there will be the disappearance of nuclear membrane and nucleolus, and also there will be the condensation. So all these things will be happening simultaneously in both the cells. And also there is the formation of achromatic bipolar spindle. What do you mean by achromatic? So here the spindle fibers are formed in the cytoplasm itself, not in the centriole. So that's why it is called as a achromatic bipolar spindle. Okay. So all these changes will be happening in both the cells simultaneously. So this is all about prophase 2. Now let's enter into the metaphase 2. Here the chromosome is going to be in one plane which is called as a equatorial plate or metaphase plate okay let me draw the chromosome here okay now it is in the equatorial plate this is one cell and this is happening in the another cell okay and also there will be the fibers attached in the kinetochore so these are the spindle fibers coming to the inner phase this is going to get separated. Let me draw the chromosomes first. Okay, so here the chromosome gets separated and also there will be the development of the interzonal fibers. So which is present between the two chromosomes. Now let's see what is going to happen in the telophase. So in the telophase, all these chromosomes will get separated forming a new cell and also there will be the formation of nuclear membrane. So this is one cell. Let me draw the chromosome so that you can be very clear with that. So finally we got a four haploid cells. So one, two, three and four. This is all about telophase two. And here also there will be the cytokinesis which is same as that of meiosis 1. The same thing is going to happen in meiosis 2 also. So it's same as meiosis 1. 
This is all about meiosis 1 and 2. The first question is, this option gives the correct sequence of events during mitosis. Okay, so here we are going to discuss about mitosis. So, in this mitosis, there are four subphases, right? That is prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So, what is going to happen in the anaphase? So, there will be the condensation of the chromosomes and there will be the disappearance of the nuclear membrane. And in the metaphase, all the chromosomes will be standing in the equatorial plate. And in anaphase, all these chromosomes will get separated. And finally, in the telophase, it will get separated and there will be the uh, appearance of the nuclear membrane. Now, let's see the options. Okay. So, the first op option is condensation. Fine. So, nuclear membrane disassembly. Fine. Crossing over. No, this crossing over is going to take place in the meiosis. Right. So, there will be the exchange of genetic material, right, in the chromosome. So, the option A is wrong. Then coming to the option B, condensation and arrangement at equator. So, there is one more will be there. What is that? There will be the nuclear membrane disappearance, right? So, the option B is also wrong. And coming to the C option, condensation again crossing over. So, this is also it's wrong. Then finally D, condensation, right? And there will be the nuclear membrane disassembly, fine. Arrangement at equators, yes, correct. And then centromere division, obviously, right? And then segregation is going to happen in the anaphase and finally telophase. So the correct option is D. Coming to the second question. Anaphase promoting complex is a protein degradation. Okay, it is going to cut off. So, where it is going to happen, they have given in the question itself. So, this will be in the anaphase. Right. Okay. Complex is a protein degradation machinery necessary for proper mitosis of animal cells. So, if this complex is defective in humans, what is going to happen? Fine. So, we have already know that in the anaphase, the chromosome will get separated, which means segregation is going to happen. Now, let's see the options. Chromosomes will not condense. No. Then, chromosomes will not segregate. Yes. So, in the anaphase, there will be the segregation is going to happen. If because of this complex, that is anaphase promoting complex, if this complex is defective, then the segregation is not going to happen. So, the correct, correct option is B. Now, let's see the C option also. Recombination of chromosomes arms will occur. No, so it is not going to happen here, right? So, here we are going to, sp we are speaking about mitosis. So, this will be coming under meiosis. And chromosomes will get fragmented. What do you mean by fragmented? Whether the chromosomes will be split into small, small pieces? No. So, here the correct option is B. Next question is, spindle fibers attach onto. Okay, fine. So, let me draw the chromosome first. Actually, this is the exactly the chromosomes. Okay, fine. So, here this is the centromere. So, here there will be a disc shape. Disc shape that is called as a kinetochore. So, in this kinetochore, the spindle fibers will get attached for the separation. So, this is the spindle fiber. Let's see the options. So, the first A option is kinetochore of the chromosomes. Yes, obviously, the spindle fiber is going to attach in the kinetochore. Fine, let's see this B option also. Centromere of the chromosomes. So, here, this is the centromere. It is not attached there, right? So, it is wrong. And then, coming to the C, telomere of the chromosome. What is meant by telomere? So, telomere is present in the end of the chromosome. So, this end, this end, okay, this is called 
telomere. Fine. Then kinetosome of the chromosome. So what is meant by kinetosome? So this is a structure which is present in the protozoans, okay, which has a flagellate. So that is called as a kinetosome. So here the correct option is kinetochore of the chromosome. In this question, they are asking about the characteristics. Okay, this is not the characteristic features of the not the characteristic features of the mitosis. You have to be very clear with the question. They are asking which is not the characteristics. Fine. Let's see the option first. So the disappearance of nucleolus. Yes. So it is a characteristics of mitosis. It is going to happen. Then spindle fibers. Yes. Spindle fiber is going to attach to the kinetochore in the mitosis also. Yes. Fine. Then synapses. Wow. So what do you mean by synapses? Which is a pairing of fusion of two chromosomes, right? So it, it is a fusion of two chromosomes. So this is going to happen in the meiosis, which is not the characteristics of mitosis, right? Okay, let's see the next option also. The chromosome movement, yes. So that will be the movement of chromosomes in the mitosis also. So here the question is, which is not the characteristics of mitosis is synapses. So the option C is the correct answer. Coming to the next question, arrange the following events of meiosis in the correct sequence. Okay, they have given some events. Fine. So these are the events happening in the prophase one. Okay, so in the meiosis there are two stages that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. So in the meiosis 1 that will be the prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1 and then telophase 1. So in this prophase there are five substages, right? So these are the events happening in these five substages. So let's see first. Crossing over. Fine. So before the crossing over there will be the formation of the synaptonymal complex, right? Synapsis is going to happen. So that is going to be the first. Fine. So the next thing, after the synapsis, there will be the crossing over. And finally, after the crossing over, the terminalization of chiasmata is going to happen. What does it mean by chiasmata? Which is nothing but it is a point at which chromosomes remain paired, okay? Which is in contact with the other chromosome. So that place is called chiasmata. So finally, after the crossing over, the, the chiasmata is going to be completed. It is going to be terminalized. Fine. So then the fourth stage or fourth event will be the disappearance of the nucleolus. Fine. Let's see. So synapses should be the first. So yes, two. In option A, B and C, there are uh, synapses is in the first Okay, fine. Let's see second, the crossing over. Okay, so here and here it is there. And uh, yes, terminalization of Chaos Meta will be the third. And here it is. And finally, disappearance of the nucleolus. So the option A is correct. Yes. During which phase of the cell cycle, the amount of DNA in a cell remains at 4C level if the initial amount is denoted as 2c. Okay, so we know the stages, right? That is uh, g1, yes, g2, and then finally m phase. That may be uh, mitosis or meiosis, fine. So when the cell is entering into the g1 phase, so the chromosome will be like this, right? So which has a chromatids, okay. So after that, it is going to get condensed. All those stuffs is going to happen. So when it is entering into the yes phase, so it will get duplicated, right? Yes. Actually, this is 2C and this is 4C. Fine. So after the synthesis happen in the S phase, so this is going to enter into the G2 phase. 
So only in the G2 phase, it will be in, the amount will be at 4C. Okay. When it gets into the M phase, it may get separated, right? So the correct option is G2. So only in the G2 phase, it will remains at 4C level. Fine. So the correct option is only G2. So let's see the first option A also. G2 and M. No, in the M phase, it is not going to be at the 4C level. It may get separated here. Coming to the option C, G1. No, in the G1 phase, it will be at 2C level. Okay. So, and in yes phase, it will get 4C. It is synthesized is going to happen there. Fine. It is also, it's a wrong option. Coming to G0 and G1, obviously, it is not going to be there. As I have already told you, in the G1 phase, it is at 2C level. So, the correct option is B. Enzyme recombinase is required at which stage of meiosis? Okay, fine. So, in the meiosis, recombinase is the enzyme which is used to catalyze the exchange of genetic material, right? So, when it is going to happen? During crossing over. So, this enzyme is needed during crossing over. When this crossing over is going to happen? In the meiosis 1, right? So, again, so there will be the substages that is uh, prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1 and telophase 1. So in this prophase there are 5 substages. So that is leptotene, zygotene, pachytin, diplotene and then diakinesis. So especially in this pat pachytin stage, this crossing over is going to happen. So, the correct option is D. It's a pachyton stage. So, the next question is, chromosomes during meiosis 1 start pairing at 5. So, here they have given the events happening in the prophase 1. Yes. So, the first thing is, Leptotene. Here the chromosome starts condensing and also there will be the formation of asters in the leptotene stage. And coming to the zygotene, there will be the pairing of homologous chromosomes. Yes, right? It is going to form the bivalence. Coming to the pachytin stage, here the crossing over is going to happen. So here, crossing over. So in the leptotene, there will be the condensation. In the diplotene, there will be the disappearance of nuclear membrane. Okay. So, here the correct option is zygotene. So, here there will be the pairing of homologous chromosome is going to happen. Identify the meiotic stage. So, meiotic stage which is nothing but meiosis in which the homologous chromosomes Separate while the sister chromatids remain associated at their centromeres. Okay, fine. Let's see the options. So, both in metaphase 1 and 2, so there will be the chromosome standing at the equatorial plate, right? It is not going to get separated. Now, coming to the anaphase 2 and anaphase 1. So, let's see the question again. Separate while the sister chromatids remain associated at their centromere. Okay, fine. So now, let's see, after the synthesis phase, okay, so there will be the sister chromatids, right? Fine. So when this is entering into the meiosis, in the first meiosis, so there will be the pairing of homologous chromosomes, right? So, what is going to happen here? There will be the crossing over. Fine. After crossing over, so there will be the, let me draw this crossing over also. So, let's say this is crossing over has happened. Okay. So, it will be attached. It will form a 
synaptonemal complex everything and finally it is going to get separated right where it is going to get separated in the meiosis 1 so here there will be the anaphase 1 right so in the anaphase 1 the sister chromatids will remain associated in the centromere when it get separated okay but in the anaphase 2 what is going to happen you know in the anaphase 2 the sister chromatids will get separated so the correct option is anaphase 1 doubling of the number of chromosomes can be achieved by the disrupting mitotic cell division which is meant by mitosis soon after so actually this doubling of the number of chromosome will be happen after dna replication okay and it will be happening before the separation of sister chromatids yes so the separation of sister chromatids will be happening in the anaphase right actually the doubling will be happen before this so before the anaphase there will be the metaphase right in the metaphase only the chromosome will get aligned in the center of the cell right prior to the separation of the anaphase so here the correct option is d metaphase let's move on to the next question yes during which stages of mitosis and meiosis respectively does the centromere of each chromosome split so as i've already told you the chromosome which is present in the center of the chromosome right so this is the centromere so when this centromere get separated obviously the chromosome will also get separated right so where the separation is going to happen in both the mitosis and meiosis phases it will be happening only in the anaphase so the correct option is d anaphase and anaphase 1 which one of the following is the quiescent stage of cell cycle so which is nothing but it's a g naught yes right so this is also called as a resting phase here the cell will decide what to do so if a cell want to get differentiated it will get out of the cell cycle and it will perform a specific function if the cell wants to divide again if it wants to proliferate again it will enter into the g1 phase so here the correct option is d the process of appearance of recombination nodules occur at which substage of prophase 1 in meiosis so here they have given the prophase 1 stages okay so what is meant by recombination nodules okay so which is nothing but it is a site you know where the recombination is going to take place sites at which non-sister chromatids crossing over okay so it is a site at which non-sister chromatids is crossing over so this is happening only in the crossing over right so you have to be very clear the crossing over will be happening in the Pachton phase okay so it's a very important question so if they asked about enzyme recombinase also you have to go with the Pachton stage where the crossing over is going to take place you have to go with the Pachton stage let's move on to the next question yes so the replication of nuclear DNA occurs in obviously in the synthesis phase right yes so if this is a chromosome it will get duplicated like this so this is called replication so the correct option is c colchicum obtained from colchicum autumnale plant affect which stage of cell cycle so it's one of the very interesting question so colchicum is also called as atom crocus or it is also called as meadow Okay. So, it is one of the plant which is used to treat the rheumatic complaints and also leukemia, all those stuffs. Basically, it is used as a drug. So, the interesting thing is, it is going to prevent the cell, you know, prevent the cell from forming 
spindle fibers or spindles okay so here this is not going to allow the formation of the spindles when the spindle is not formed the anaphase which means segregation is not going to happen finally the cell is going to get arrested in the metaphase itself because of the not formation of spindles okay so here the option is a okay so here the cell division will be arrested in the metaphase itself because of the not production of the spindles g not state of cells in eukaryotic cell cycle denotes so as i've already told you this g not is the resting phase or it is also called as a quiescent phase okay so in which the cell will be differentiated or may get enter into the cell cycle again okay let's see the option first so checkpoint before entering the next phase no it is not a checkpoint fine pausing in the middle of the cycle to cope with the temporary delay no it is not going to cause any delay because it is resting whether it want to go to differentiation or proliferation right then death of the cell cycle no death of the cell is not is going to happen exit of cells from cell cycle yes obviously it may get exit in the cell cycle at the g not phase coming to the next question mitosis is the process by which eukaryotic cells okay let's see the options first expose the genes for protein synthesis no it is not going to expose any genes right for the protein synthesis become specialized in structure and function no when the cell get out of the cell cycle it may go to the differentiation and it gives some functions no it is not going to happen in the mitosis multiply yes okay fine and then grow so the correct option is multiply the cell is not going to grow anyway in the mitosis only it is going to multiply and it will get separated which will be the best stage to count the number of chromosomes during mitosis so actually the scientist will be preferring the metaphase because it will be very easy to study the morphology of the chromosomes what do you mean by morphology of chromosomes stout the structure so we can study the structure of the chromosomes okay so because you know so in the metaphase only the centrioles are at the opposite poles and the homologous pairs will be tightly coiled and condensed okay and it will be arranged in the a uh, plate called metaphase plate or uh, equatorial plate okay and then there will be the attachment of the spindle fiber in the kinetochore so everything will be uh, clearly viewed and it is separated and uh, we can see it very clearly okay so this will be happened only in the metaphase okay the significance of meiosis lies in so let's see the options first a reduction of the diploid number of chromosomes to haploid yes obviously this meiosis is also called as a reduction division yes fine let's see the b option maintaining consistency in the number of diploid chromosomes during sexual reproduction yes it is going to maintain the consistency of the cell right when it is going on through the crossing over also yes production of genetic variability in the population of species yes there are number of variations inside the species right because of this genetic transformation because of the transfer of the genes okay so which is happening in the crossing over yes so all of this three statements are correct so we'll go with option d all the above which one of the following pairs is correctly matched okay let's see the option a so anaphase 1 homologous chromosomes are separated right it is going to get separated in anaphase 1 okay so the non sister chromatids will get separated here coming to the option b metaphase 1 pairing of maternal and paternal chromo homologous chromosomes takes place no the pairing is not going to happen here all the chromosomes will be there in the metaphase plate right 
metaphase plate or it is going to be in the equatorial plate. So it is a wrong option. And coming to the C, interface. A nuclear envelope encloses each haploid cell of chromosomes. No, it is not going to make an envelope. So in interface, that will be the G1, yes, and G2 phase. Okay, all the events is going to happen in the interface. Okay, it is also wrong. And prophase 1, non-homologous homologous chromosomes are separated. No, it is not separated. It is going to happen in the anaphase. So the correct option is A. So this is the correct pairs matched.